So there's a lot of different churches. Right, right. Right? And this is um, an example of if this is the Bible. Right, right. So how many lines can you draw through that? I don't know. Handle, right? Right. So right. many. Right. And so that can get really confusing. Right. But with the Book of Mormon and the Bible, right. we can have a perfect understanding of okay. what that means. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah, I don't want to cut you off. Go ahead. Of course. So this is kind of what I'm talking about. Right. So So the verse says the verse says that if anyone comes to you with a different gospel, even an angel that they would be accursed, right? Mm -hmm. That's what the verse says. So for me as a Christian, would I not be scared of, of someone who had a vision of an angel? Um, I wouldn't necessarily, I'm not exactly sure on that, but I know that the, all of these churches have some part of the truth. But they're not exactly sure on which way to go. Right, right. And so we believe that Jesus Christ came down to the earth, right? Right. And he established his gospel. Okay, which, which Jesus? So because, okay, you know, when I talk to Muslim, um, they say Jesus is uh, wasn't the Son of God, didn't die on the cross. You and you would agree that. that's a different Jesus, no? Um, that he's not the Son of God and he didn't die on the cross? You, yeah, that's... Different Jesus? Another we Christ? That he did. Okay, so that's another Christ, right? Um, I wouldn't exactly... S not the Son of God? It's it's kind of hard to say. It's like, I believe in Jesus Christ. And right, so I know, I know, but... That, I'm not exactly okay, sure. Okay, okay, I talked to the Jehovah Witnesses. Okay. And they s tell me that Jesus was Michael the Archangel, the first and greatest creation of God. So I would think you would agree that's a different Jesus, another Christ. Okay. Am I right? Or do you think he's Michael the Archangel? Or could be? We believe that he's Jesus Christ's first son. But what if somebody says he's the first creation, Michael the Archangel? Would you say that's another Jesus or say, same Jesus? I would say they don't exactly understand who Jesus is. Right. Different so Jesus, right? Okay, so that's my question is... Who is Jesus? Who is God? Because um, is God, am I coming, who am I coming to? Am I coming to a um, God who has always been God, who will always yes. be eternally yes. God? Yes. Am I coming to Jesus, the eternal God? Or am I coming to a resurrected man who had many li wives in the pre-existence and um, produced Je became a God one day, produced Jesus, and I'm going to be a God like him? Okay, we have all of your answers, I can okay. promise you. Yeah. So, with this verse at least, um, I can tell you that Jesus Christ came and established his gospel. And then he um, established apostles as well. Right. But we have a, it's a, ega, well, I'm used to spelling this in Chinese. But it's a pattern. Right. So, because God loves us, because uh -huh. God is our eternal father, we believe that he's our, he's our father in heaven. Right. So, we are literally his children. Jesus Christ is his first son. Right. And so he came down and he gave us prophets. Right. So that we can have um, guidance. Right. And then a lot of people don't follow those words. Right. So when we... Okay, because I'm short on time though, I don't mean to cut you no, off and I'd love to meet you with my wife. Of course. But, but um, my question is, me as a Christian, if I'm going to read that, that if somebody comes with a, a different gospel, heard from an angel, that person's a curse. So why, as me as a Christian, that troubles me because I would have to ask you what the gospel is because I know what the gospel is that the Bible says. So if your gospel would be different... Are you saying... Well, I'm, I'm asking what's your gospel. Can you shortly give me the gospel? I can. Okay, give so, me the gospel. Jesus Christ came down and established right. his gospel and actually we have an entire chapter on it. And it's Second Nephi 31 and it okay. talks about... Um, five parts, okay? And the first part is have uh, faith in Him. Faith in right. Him and His atonement. Right. Um, because He came down right. and He was our Savior and He took away all of our sins. He felt all of our Oh, pains. so you have no sin. It's all gone. No, we do because we're not. Okay, I'm asking well, short I, good news. I, I just need to hear the good news. Faith. And He is willing to, He's already paid for our sins, so Okay, He paid our, for our sins, yes. Through our imperfection, we can ask Him for forgiveness. Right. We can ask God right. through Jesus Christ for forgiveness, right. which is repentance. Right. Right? And then baptism. 
then the Holy Ghost, right? And then enduring to the end. This is the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Yeah, right. So I'm saying that Jesus. And we do that on our own. So Jesus Christ accepts our sins through the conditions of our repentance. Okay, so that sounds that doesn't sound good news. That sounds like really hard work. No, because he's already paid for it, and all he's willing to accept for us. All we have to do is work hard. All we have to do is try. Well, see, that's my problem on a different gospel. Because Ephesians, do you know Ephesians two eight nine? I can look that up. I can tell you. For by grace are you saved through faith, mm -hmm. and this is not of yourself; is a gift of God. But what I read in the Book of Mormon, I don't, 2 Nephi 25, 23, something like that. It says, for by grace are you saved after all you can do. Uh -huh. So to me, that starts the same way and then veers off. So yeah. to me, this scares me that this is a different gospel yeah. than, what I, than what the Bible says is the gospel. So, like I said, in 2 Nephi 31... It has an entire chapter that explains exactly right. what his gospel is. Because we... Can, but see, that's what scares me. Okay, I, I just stop. This scares me. Because if I start with the God, Bible, and the Bible is warning about other uh, false prophets, like Jesus said, false prophets will come after me. So that's what Muhammad did. So after, after the Bible was established, Muhammad says, yes, we, we acknowledge the Bible, but here's a book, the Quran. The Jehovah Witnesses, yes, we acknowledge the Bible, but here we have the Watchtower. You, I hear you saying we have the Bible, but here's the Book of Mormon. So there's something as a Christian troubles sure me. Well, way. troubles me because Jesus warned that this would happen. I see. So I don't really see. You, you can put me to the Book of Mormon, but I'm still in Galatians 1, 6 to 9. That's fearing me, so or causing me fear, but I have to go. So, thank you so much. Can I shake your hand? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you think we could add your, get your number and so we could talk sure, to you Sure, sure, sure. Let me...